Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And this week uh, we have very exciting news. As you may have heard, an artificial retina was just approved by the FDA last week. This is called the Argus II retinal prosthesis and it's a very exciting development as this is the first time in the United States we've had this type of technology available that can help restore some sight to visually impaired people. So to better understand this, let's take a look at the eye model to see what exactly uh, where this sits in the eye. So as light passes into the eye, it eventually gets to the back of the eye where the retina is. The retina is the light sensors, or a little bit like the camera film inside the eye, that receives the light and then changes it into electrical signals that go to the nerve in the back of the eye, pass back out from the eye, and connect to the brain, which is how we see. Some people with disease of the retina, like retinitis pigmentosa in particular, which this prosthesis has been approved for, have a retina that doesn't work very well and cannot receive these light signals that are coming in. So with this prosthetic retina, an implant is placed back in the retina in the back of the eye that has an array of electrodes that transmit electrical signals into the retina that come from a camera that's connected to the patient's glasses. So with this, when a patient looks at something with the glasses, the camera points at it and then wirelessly sends signals back to this electrodes that then transmit a signal that can be understood by the retina. Apparently, this was one of the big hurdles or goals for the uh, team that developed this to overcome. They're out in California and they have done a great job. Uh, they have many, many years of research into this and they found out a way to get these signals transmitted and processed so they can actually be received in the nerves inside the eye and then actually send that signal back to the brain. This is a great development and initially people with retinitis pigmentosa have been approved for this. It's been approved in Europe uh, since 2011, so people have been receiving it there. And the hope in the future is that maybe this can be expanded and used for many other types of retinal disease that can cause blindness. And as time goes by, the technology should continue to improve where the resolution can get higher and higher and give even a better quality of vision to these patients. So if you have any questions, we'd be happy to answer them. Uh, I'm not a retina specialist, but we do have some knowledge about this. So um, please post, we'll be happy to share with you. And we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.